All right, Shalom. Call Allah Yimla. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. And salutations to the elect of Bachayar. Shalom. This is Brother Kaya Hai here. Um, I was just going to go into a little topic discussing how um, this is not our rest, you know? You Israelites, you suck on Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I need to wake up and understand that. Because you got Jake still leaning on his 401k, his pension, okay? Still leaning on his uh, his early retirement plan, all right? Still leaning on um, uh, traveling or whatever kind of funds he got saved up in his bank account. You know, whatever the case is, the whole point of the matter, all right, is, is that America is about to be destroyed, you know? I mean, don't get it twisted now. Whatever kind of... Whatever kind of little BS you can get away with while you're here, you know what I'm saying? Not in a way of tempting the Lord, but um, whatever kind of, whatever, anything you can get away with, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh, uh, little fleshly pleasures and shit like that, then go ahead, do it. You know what I'm saying? Think about buying you a car. You can maintain it. Uh, so on and so forth. Go ahead, do it, man. You know, because we ain't got too much longer in this place. Again, not in a way that you tempting the Lord, but... You know what I'm saying? Like again, like a, a new whip. You want to buy some uh, some some type of furniture or whatever that you always wanted. Hey, now is the time to go ahead and do it because this place it ain't gonna last that long. You know, who who knows when this place is gonna go down? We just know right now that the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone deem this year uh, the year of Caragua, man, 2019, the year of Caragua. So this place is is due for destruction. Okay. Now, Karagma is talking about the RFID chip, radio frequency identification device, you know, and that's about to be made mandatory very soon. All right. So it's time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans to wake the hell up and see that East of the so-called white men don't love you. And this place is about to get destroyed. All right. With that being said, this is the book of Micah, chapter two, verse 10. It says, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. Even with a sword destruction. Yeah, there you go. All right, this this place is, is polluted. And it's, it's destroying us slowly and surely because you still got Jake out here eating McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King. All right. You still got, got uh, Jake. Jake won't pick up a vegetable for anything to save his life. Jake won't pick up the scriptures to save his life. You know, and that's the most important thing because this word, this word is about to be no more on the streets, man. All right. In the upcoming times of uh, martial law, in the times of Jacob Trouble. All right. So we see that he saw the so-called white man. Is is destroying this place, man. Look at the look at the um look at the, the sky, man. Look at the uh, a field of air. You know, we breathing in all types of toxins. You know, we eating all types of poisons. All right. We got plastic in our food, you know, which. I know it's in Ezekiel. I just keep forgetting. Which um scripture defile bread? Okay. The scripture says, "Cause it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction." Yeah, Ezekiel four and thirteen. Okay, this book is Ezekiel chapter four, verse thirteen. It says, "And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat that defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them." All right, because Yahweh Shem Yahusha scattered the nation of Israel right, abroad the four corners of the world. Okay? And so we, we eat the defiled bread because when you look at those slave movies, you know, one in particular that um that just now came to mind was that Nat Turner movie. How Esau the so-called white man, you know, when our Southern tribe was over here, when Southern tribe got over here, all right? And um it also goodbye uncle uh goodbye uncle Tom. You know, they they snatched up Jake and whatever slave Jake wouldn't eat. They would bust their teeth open with a with a um uh, a hammer and a pick. They would bust Jake's teeth open and then put a damn uh, a bunch of damn uh, slop and whatever the hell it was forcibly down Jake's throat and force Jake to eat it. You know, because that's the cruel intention of this of this damn devil, man. All right, and it's the same thing with the other nations. You know, you got um you got Jake. In the, uh, in the poorest conditions of these other nations, the society of these other nations, all right, they're living as the lowest of the low. Like, for example, the um, the Dalit over in India, all right, the untouchables, 
all right, the, the scattered and broken ones of India, you know, those, those are Israelites over there. They live in poverty too, all right? Living in terrible conditions, all right? Just any, um, any, um, or, 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 uh, there is a poverty that you may come across in these other nations like Japan, uh, 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 India, Africa, okay, or where, wherever the hell else in this world, all right? Uh, chances, nine out of ten times, they're going to be jakes over there, man, okay? That's why you got to be mindful of spirits, all right? But this is Jake as a whole, man. This is one of the curses that fell upon us. We got to eat def we gotta eat defiled bread. Okay, let's go into the word defiled right quick. It says unclean and pure, ethically and religiously, ritually of places, all right, well, yeah, that's the point. And um, the first one, unclean and pure, okay? So our food, is, our food is impure, you know? It's not fresh. That's why, you know, you got gook over there, okay? Mo and, uh, Moab, all right? They over there making um, uh, fake lettuce, fake rice, okay? Fake beef. You know, you got these other so-called, um, uh, he's making woolly pigs, I'm so mingling seeds, you know, you got pork and every damn thing. All right. That's, that's the nature of Esau, the so-called white man to, to destroy everything. All right. To make everything defiled, to make everything impure because he himself is impure. Okay. And Jake all across the world. And Jake all across the world is eating just like that, man. Because it ain't just in America. This is just where the majority of Jake is. But it ain't just in America, man. It's all over the world, man. You know, so any type of so any uh type of environment with Jake there, they're gonna be eating the, the uh defiled bread, the defiled food among the Gentiles, man. Or among the heathen. All right. Get this in um Isaiah the twenty fourth chapter because this this place is just all out of whack, man. Okay? I think it was twenty four and ten. Nah, not that one. Let me see. Um, yep, con, con, con. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-four, and I'm gonna start at verse four. It says, "The earth mourneth and fadeth away; the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish, do languish. Yeah, the haughty people, the proud of the earth, start with." With uh, two thirds of our people, not like the false prophets, Esau, the so-called white man, because he's he's the the haughty of the haughty, all right, the proud of the proud. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. Yeah, the earth is mourning because um, it's in the scripture somewhere, but uh, in a law, in a law, we're supposed to have a land Sabbath, meaning six years we'll be able to take from the uh, take from the world, uh, take from the earth. You know, all the resources and uh, uh, build on the earth. OK, and on the seventh year, we got to leave the earth alone. All right. Just like it's the same thing with the regular Sabbath. Six days out of the week, we go on labor. And on the seventh day, we're going to rest. OK. And so because Esau, the so-called white man, got the whole world in derision, got the whole world messed up. OK, you got construction. I think I said uh, last week, you know, out, out there in uh, Charlotte, North, out here in Charlotte, North Carolina, you got a bunch of damn construction going on. Okay, so Esau, Esau, the so-called white man, does not stop. All right? And so the earth is mourning. The so-called white man taking all the oil, all, right, all the resources, the minerals. Okay, taking everything away from the earth, man. And so the, the earth is starting to fade. The earth is starting to cry out. You know, an example of that is these volcanoes, these hurricanes, these earthquakes that Yahweh spoke of when he was on the scene. Okay? Now the scriptures say the earth abideth forever. What this scripture right here just simply means is that the earth is crying out for help, man. Okay. It says the haughty people of the earth do languish. All right. So the, the proud of the earth is going to languish and fade away as well because the earth is fading away. Okay. It says the earth, oh, because if the resources ain't good, how the people going to be good? That's why you got Jake. I, I'll hear me, um, on medication. All right. You know, the pill poppers, they got to take different things to, um, to get their bodies uh, adjusted to whatever, man. All right, it ain't right, man. Okay? In verse 5, it says, The earth, Isaiah 24 and 5, it says, The earth also is defiled 
under the inhabitants thereof. Yeah, it's because of Esau, the so-called white man, you know, polluting every damn thing. Okay. Animals starting to beast themselves because you, you got Esau, the so-called white man with these big factories. They're releasing a, um, they, uh, they toxics and oils into these lakes, a bunch of different chemicals into these lakes and oceans, you know, a bunch of trash pops up in the ocean just about everywhere you go. All right, you go to the beach, you're going to see a bunch of stuff on the beach, man. You know, fishes, whales, sharks beaching themselves because the water is so toxic and so polluted. The water, water is supposed to be clear, you know. But now it's all dark and muggy, all right, because he saw the so-called white man is pouring all of his toxins and poisons into these, into our waters, man, you know, and then uh, they channel it through the FDA into, uh, into, um, uh, 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 the nearest neighborhood's water system, you know, which is going to be Jake. It really don't matter who it is because this devil kill anybody, but it's really Jake. You know, that's why you got Flint, Michigan going what they going through for years. Water's still brown. Okay. The waters are murky. All right. This is you want to stay here. The earth, the earth is mourning right now. Okay. It says Isaiah 24 and 5. I'm just starting from the top again. It says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, man. Jake broke the covenant. Okay. Esau, Esau never had the covenant, but he's just making things worse, man. Because that's the job of the damn devil to just make things worse. Okay. So because Jake. Broke the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So, uh, Jake is going through exactly what he's going through. Okay, because we could have been living in peace. We could have been living forever, man. We we, we could have been in a state of perfection. That didn't, it didn't happen that way because Jake stopped following the law, statutes, and the commandments. All right, this uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah set up Esau, the so called white man, to, um, to put the world in derision. Okay? Not a, not a, not a, um, the earth is languishing, man. Okay. Huh, verse six look kind of heavy. Well, yeah, I'm just going to read it because this is what's about to come. Okay. Verse six, it says, therefore have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein de are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Yeah, the curse that devoured the earth is talking about. The, uh, the, the chariots, man, right along with them ICBMs, all right, those intercontinental ballistic missiles, all right, but, but primarily the chariots, all right, the so-called UFOs, because when Yahweh Shah come back, he's going to start burning these, these, uh, these obstacles, um, these, um, I don't want to say obstacles, but yeah, Yahweh Shah is going to burn everything to pieces, man, okay, he's going to melt it down. All right, this is going to be the, the biggest reset burn. All right, uh, a laser, a beam of concentrated fire is going to be shot out of these UFOs. All right, Yahweh Shah and the angel in the League of Angels is going to get busy on this place because it's defiled, man. All right. It says, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Yeah, uh, people, a lot of people are going to be without. Okay. Starting off with Esau, the so-called white man. You know, with the wicked of our people, the two thirds, they're going to be without, man. You know, and they're going to be left desolate without any resources. You know. It says may, primarily the truth. It says, therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Yeah, the elect. OK, the elect is going to be left therein. And, and saved, man, 144,000 and the one third is going to be delivered. You know, then you gonna also have the. um. The heathen of the other nations, you know, because the Lord got to the Lord got to save some of them, so that way the elect will have somebody to build up the kingdom. You know, Yahweh need need slaves. To, you need to if you a king, you are gonna need slaves to build up the uh your 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 your, your kingdom, your palace, right? Okay, so that's why a few very few men are gonna be left. Very few people are gonna be left, man. Okay, but yeah, that was the point on that. Um, let me go ahead. Matter of fact, nah, let me continue on that, man. Down to close out through spirit. All right. You know, another reason, matter of fact, no, nah, because I, I did want to get that. 
I did want to get that. And um, it's Haggai. I think it's two and six. Where's Haggai? Here we go, Haggai. Just basically going into um, or was it one and six? Yeah, kind, 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 kind. You know, because again, with the with the world not being in the righteous state that it's in, you know, going back into the people, going back into Jake's suffering, you know, and all of these calamities falling upon us, because he saw the so called white man, we're we're subject, we're under contracts, man. Everywhere you go in life, whether it's, uh, whether you got to do it online, you got to do it in person, you fill out a job application, you got to give this damn devil your social security number. You have to have a social security number. OK. Yeah, Jay got to put Jay got to put his kids in school and so on and so forth. All right. We're, we're subject to payments. So you got Jake leasing the finances on different homes and cars. You know, Jake got to pay rent. All right. And it ain't right, man. It's not right. Jake getting taxed out the ass. He saw the so white man taxing the poor. All right. That's usury. You know, but all of these contracts and these these oaths to he saw the so white man that were under. OK, should we not uh, 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 abide by them or 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 follow or follow through with them? Yeah, you're you going to get messed up, man. OK. So with that being said, this is Haggai chapter one, verse six. It says, ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Yeah, nothing is ever enough in, in Babylon, in our captivity, because what? This is not our rest. All right, we, we sow so much, meaning we labor. We work so hard. Five, six, some some people even, Salakia, some people even seven days a week. And bring in so little because you got this you got this devil taxing you out the ass, man. OK, you might get a check for a thousand dollars. You might bring home four hundred uh, dollars, man. OK. JB on child support. OK. Maybe Jake got to got to uh, start saving up for rent, you know, different bills and so on and so forth. Man, it ain't right. It says you have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag filled with holes. Yeah, man, you ever try to put change in a in, in a, a pocket full of holes? You know you got a hole in your pocket. You try to put change in it. It's going to fall right out. Okay, meaning what? He saw the so-called white man going to take them taxes out your check. Okay. I'm telling you, man, like this, this devil, he did a good job with destroying Jake because look at, look at the state of our people today, man. They get so depressed and, and miserable because they don't have enough. And that's the point of captivity. You will never have enough, man. Okay. Your slave master is going to give you the bare minimum to survive. And after that, you, you really got to fend for yourself. All right. But Yahabash and Shah is looking after his men. Looking after Jake as a whole, because even in captivity, even in this captivity, which is our worst captivity, Jake still be shining, man. Jake still be shining, but we the salt to the earth anyway. But going back into the elect, yeah, how about Shem Al Shah is really going to hold down the elect because those are the Lord's people, you know, and people are going to see that in, in due time. You know, a lot of people are going to find out who the, the chosen is in due time, man. OK, but going back to the point. Um, you gonna earn wages to put them in a bag filled with holes. All right. You got a car that you leasing on or whatever. You got to uh, get money taken out your paycheck for that. You subscribe to any type of, uh, subs um, if, if you have any subscriptions, okay. Online or to a particular store or whatever that, that you, you got to uh, take out each month or each week or whatever. That's going to get taken out, you know? So again, man, it's, it's just all messed up, man. It's all messed up. And it's because he saw the so-called white man. He did a wonderful job in destroying this world. Okay? The so-called white man is doing his job. All right? Um, jump back to that, Isaiah, because I think I wanted to close on uh, close out on that. 
Isaiah the 24th chapter. Isaiah 24. It was 8. Let me see. Um, The rest of this is real heavy, but I don't know how to break it down like that. I know the city of confusion. Well, matter of fact, I'll just read through it. Yeah, I'll just read through it. Isaiah 24 and 7, it says, The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. All right, the new wine, the uh, that, that philosophy, okay? The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth. Yeah, the, the earth, the, the mirth of the earth is going away, man. Okay, it's languishing, it's dying out. All right, that's that's what it means to languish, man, to, to die out, to cease. Okay, all the merry hearted do side. There's no more mirth, there's no more joy in the land. Okay, I mean, it never was because America is nothing but bitterness, a, a place of bitterness. Okay, but you can see the 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 uh the spirit of these pagan holidays, how they are, had they have come to a nut, and rightfully so. Okay, because people know people have been too broke to to um buy their kids gifts and presents. All right, to to so called fall in love. You see the mirth of this place, the 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 joy of this place has ceased. It's it's come to an end, you know. I say call la yim la ya ha bashimi ha washa. All right, this place is bitter. All right, it's it's cold, man. You know, it says all the merry hearted do side. Yeah, all the people of mirth, they walk around with their heads down now because there's no joy in the land, man. All right, verse eight it says the mirth of the tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth up. Salakia, the noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. Yeah, man. Ain't no, you don't really see people on the streets really playing the instruments no more. Okay. Ain't no celebrate. Ain't a lot of celebrations or whatever. Okay. The, the parties and so on and so forth. I mean, people still don't get me wrong. People still out here going to clubs and stuff, but it ain't the same vibration is the whole point of, of the matter. It's not the same vibration, man. A lot of people are starting to get more serious minded and sorrowful. You got you got. Normal, regular, average jigs out there in the streets cursing out each other so-called white man. All right, because they know what time it is. Okay? So that and that's the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Al is bringing, man. The spirit of, of mourning and, and sorrow. You know. Verse 9 it says, They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink. And yeah, that, that pretty much explains itself, man. All right, there's there's no more joy, man. All right, there's no more drinking to be merry. You know, verse 10, it says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in the city of confusion. All right. That city is Babylon. OK, which is America today. All right, it's, it's broken down. You know, the stock markets are shutting. OK, yeah. The, yeah. Stock, stocks are going down. All right. Um, uh, whatchamacallit. You got a bunch of business like these pay lesses, these T-Mobile stores. All right, Walmarts, Toys R Us's. All right, these Walmarts and the rest of these places are shutting down. Okay, it says every house is shut up that no man may come in. All right, these um these mom and pop businesses are closing down. All right, because they don't have enough money to 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 maintain their their business, man. Like I did a video on the Venezuela crisis. They over there bartering, man. They 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 uh swapping goods for goods, man. Okay. They um they trade in the fishermen, all right. They asking for fish in exchange for flour and corn, okay, and whatever type of resources they could gather up and pastas, all right. Hey Jake over there in Venezuela catching hell, man, and that's about to come to America, all right. A hyper a hyperinflation is coming. You know there was a time where twenty dollars could get you very far in the supermarket. You get a whole shopping cart full of stuff, all right. Now it's like twenty dollars only get you a pack of soap or something. You know, I'm telling you, hey, it's, it's, it's wild out here, man. All right. And that's the spirit of Yahweh Hashem and Hashem. The, the Lord is bringing desolation to this place. OK, so the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Verse 11. There's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Yeah. man. And why, 
Why do you want to continue to live it up to uh, live it up in this place, man? All right. People are going to be out here looking for, for something to deliver them, man. All right. People are going to be out ultimately looking for the Lord. OK. People are going to be out here looking for some type of philosophy or something that's going to make them feel good. You know, that's why these false prophets and pastors is right, because they prophesy about the damn um uh, pros uh prophesying damn prosperity, man. There is no prosperity in Babylon. All right, this place, this place don't got much time left, man. Okay, we at the toes. All right, there's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is dark. The mirth of the land is gone. Like it was talking about earlier, man. Eh? All the, the the spirit of of mirth and celebration. Okay, it's out the window. All right. Verse twelve. It says, "And the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction." Yeah, there you go. Okay. This place is about to get hit with destruction. All right. Uh, a lot of people going to starve out here. Okay. It's going to be a famine in the land, famine of food, famine of just a lack of everything, man. All right. Most importantly, the words of Yahweh Shimi Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Pursuant to um, um, the book of Amos. All right. The eighth chapter. Verse 13 is. Thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people. Then shall be as the shaking of an olive tree and as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done. I'm going to just read on. I can't break that down. It says, they shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. All right. So, well, I'm going to just read contact clues, man. Uh, like the olive tree. You know, I believe that's talking about the Lord's people, man, because it says in verse 14, they shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. OK, so yeah, how about some, all right, the people of the Lord, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans is going to sing for the majesty of Yahweh Shem al because the Lord is going to deliver his elect. OK, primarily the elect, man, his chosen. OK, let's go into the word majesty. It says exaltation, majesty, pride, majesty, exaltation, excellence. Okay. Yeah, man, we're going to exalt Yahweh Hashem Al Shah in that day. All right. Because the Lord is going to come back and he's going to claim us as our people. All right. The Lord is not, uh, the Lord is really starting with that right now. Okay. With with the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, all the brothers in Great Millstone, you know, any camp sincerely pushing Yahweh Hashem Al Shah and all uh, truth and righteousness and sincerity. Okay. We're going to exalt you. How about your mouth shot, man? We're doing it now. You know? Yeah, man. We're we going to sing of the Lord's excellency. All right. We're going to sing that new song. All right. We're going to be back in Jerusalem. That's why it's important not to get comfortable in this place. Again, you. I mean, Jay got the whole 401k thing just leaning on this whole retirement plan. It's like, man, you ain't going to be able to enjoy that. I think they set their retirement age to like 70 or some crazy shit, man. You know? It says, they shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. Wherefore, glorify ye the Lord in the fires. Even the name of the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, in the isles of the sea. Yeah, it says, wherefore, glorify ye the Lord in the fires. Yeah, when you, when you catch a hell. Okay, because that's what you're supposed to do as a man of the Lord. Don't matter what you go through. Don't stop praising the Lord. Once you stop praising the Lord and praying to Yahweh Shem Al Shah after catching your little hell, uh, 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 after catching your little hell, whatever it is, man. Hey, there's a chance the Lord might not rock with you no more. You know, because you stop praising him, man. You you gotta praise the Lord when both when you low and when you up there. Okay, everything goes to Yahweh Shem Al Shah, man. It don't matter what you've been through, because at the end of the day, it ain't about you, man. You know. We all right, you we we gotta be in that the spirit of letting go of yourself, man. Letting go of your pride. Okay. Begging the Lord for help. You know, you got brothers around, you ask brothers for help. Okay? So it says, Wherefore glorify ye the Lord in the fires, even the name of the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, the Lord power of Israel's so like of Israel in the isles of the sea. Alright, well that was that was the point on that. Okay, so glorify your how about how shy, man. You know this and understand, Jake, that this is not your rest, man. It's time to wake the hell up. All right, the scriptures tell you to love not the world. I meant to get that too, but you know, I, I pretty much got the point, man. This is a good scripture to close out on. So with that being said, 
Shalom Uh salutations to the elect, man. Shalom.